Hello friends, welcome to another video of Zeta Axis and today we are going to discuss about Vindhya mountain ranges. The Vindhya mountains are a series of mountain ranges in central India, stretching from Gujarat to Bihar having a west to east orientation. The Vindhya mountains stretch for a total length of approximately 1200 kilometers. And the Vindhya mountains are spread across Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and Chhattisgarh. The Vindhya mountains are not a single continuous mountain chain, but it is a discontinuous series of mountain ridges, hill ranges, plateaus and escarpments. Now for clarity, an escarpment is a long steep slope, especially one at the edge of a plateau or separating areas of land at different heights. So basically, an escarpment is a cliff-like structure. The principal Vindhya range forms the southern escarpment of the central Indian uplands. It forms the southern boundary of Malwa Plateau in Madhya Pradesh. The Vindhya mountains are estimated to be formed around 2 to 1.6 billion years ago. Satpura mountains were also formed in the similar time period. The Vindhya mountains are younger than Aravli and Eastern Ghats, but the Vindhya mountains are much older than Western Ghats and Himalayas. During the collision of Indian plate and Eurasian plate from 80 to 50 million years ago, the Indian plate experienced a lot of stress which caused a lot of faulting in the Indian plate. And some of these faultings occurred in the region of Satpura and Vindhya mountains. The Narmada Rift Valley and the Tapti Rift Valley were created because of this kind of faulting. Now because of this faulting, the Indian plate in those regions moved downwards creating Narmada Rift Valley which was a grey bin. And the Vindhya and Satpura mountains were created as host. And it is because of this region Vindhya mountains are called block mountains. Vindhya mountains in the west form southern margin of Malwa Plateau and are bounded by Narmada River in south. In the eastern side, the Vindhya mountains divide into three parts. The first part of Vindhya mountains runs between the upper reaches of Sun River and Narmada River and it eventually meets the Satpura range in the Maikal Hills near Amarkanta. The second part of Vindhya mountains moves east in the form of Bhander Plateau and Kaimur ranges north of the Sun River. While the northern extension of Vindhya mountains moves towards Bundelkhand plateau and forms Vindhya tableland. The Vindhya tableland includes Reva plateau, Panna plateau and Rohtas plateau. Now this region is called Vindhya tableland because the land here is elevated from the surrounding regions and it has a flat top thus giving it a structure like a table. The eastern part of Vindhya is mainly an escarpment. Therefore, this whole region is also called Vindhya Scarplands. Now, as discussed earlier, the scarps mean a steep slope or cliff formed by folded or eroded layers of rock. The Scarpland is the region having scarps. The Vindhya mountains are mainly formed of sandstones, shales and limestones. However, the western Vindhya mountains are mainly formed of basaltic rocks. Near Hosangabad, the rock type changes and the eastern Vindhya is mainly formed of sandstones alternating with shales. The highest point of Vindhya mountains is Sadbhavana Sikhar, also called Goodwill Peak, which lies about 752 meters above the sea level. The Sadbhavana Sikhar lies in Damo district of Madhya Pradesh. Now let's discuss about the sub-ranges and plateaus of Vindhya mountain range. First is Kaimur range which is predominantly formed of sandstone and is spread from Jabalpur district of Madhya Pradesh to Sadaram in Rohtas district of Bihar. Kaimur range forms watershed between Sun river in south and Tamsa river of Ganga river system in north. The Kaimur range is an continuous escarpment which is bordered by Sun river in the south. A series of plateaus run with Kaimur range in the north. These plateaus include Bhander Plateau, Panna Plateau, Reva Plateau and Rohtas Plateau. The Bhander Plateau is located in South Central Highlands of Madhya Pradesh. It is part of Vindhya mountain block. The region is mainly scarpland. The Bhander Plateau is mainly formed of sandstones and due to continuous erosion, the topography of Bhander Plateau appears to be penny plain. 
where peniplain means a more or less level land surface produced by erosion of a land over a very long period. Next is Panna Plateau, which is located in Panna district of Madhya Pradesh and it is known for diamond mining. Following Panna Plateau is Reva Plateau, which is located in northern part of Reva district of Madhya Pradesh and it is found along borders of MP and UP. Next is Rohtas Plateau, which is also called Kaimur Plateau and it is located mainly in Rohtas district of Bihar. Several tributaries of Ganga Yamuna river system originate from Vindhya mountain ranges which include Chambal river, Betwa river, Dasan, Kain, Tamsa, Kalisind and Parvati river. The northern slopes of Vindhyas are drained by these rivers. Narmada and Sun rivers drain the southern slopes of Vindhya mountain ranges. I hope you like this video on Vindhya mountain ranges. If you have any doubts, you can ask them in the comments. If you have liked the video, then please share it with your friends. Thanks for watching the video.